Hey everyone, it's Kellen here from RacerX back again with another race examination video, this time from Indianapolis 1, and I'm going to start off by talking about the 450 main event start because there was a really weird uh, chasm on the inside created when Adam Cienstrilo initially kind of flinched for the gate, Zach Osborne flinches too, hits the gate, and then Savachi, Muskan, Muki, and Plessinger all kind of jump at the same time, but Savachi the only one not to really double or triple clutch there and gets a great start because of it, timing the gate there, getting his Mike Alessi on as he pulls a huge start from the inside, but he's not going to get the whole shot though because Eli Tomac is going to use that giant chasm created here on the inside to close everybody off and just basically will go a little bit deeper into the corner around the outside and get the whole shot. Really interesting kind of how that start played out and in the end it really helped Tomac get a great start on the night. Now moving on to the Justin Barsha crash coming into this uh, third corner here as he slides out and Malcolm Stewart runs into his back tire and they both go down. Barsha gets up and kicks Malcolm Stewart's bike down getting uh, looking like Jackie Chan in the Fury of Drunken Boxing over there. But as he gets up and continues on, I wanted to break down this crash one more time. So Malcolm Stewart hits him and it's like the slowest endo I've ever seen in my life as he goes over the bars and you got Muscan and Plessinger getting hung up behind these guys. And I think Barsha, when he gets up here, realizes Malcolm's kind of stuck under the bike, so he's going to kick it off him to help him. He also doesn't want to pick up his bike with that spinning rear tire right there as well. So a couple things involved, but they were both able to get up and continue on their way there. I want to remind everybody that this video is presented by Onyx Off-Road. Nowhere to go with the number one off-road GPS app. Access 400,000 plus miles of trails and roads, open dates and public lands. Download the Onyx Off-Road app today. So Ken Roxon jumped off the track late in the 450 main event and it all starts when he cases this double right here. And you can see his front tire goes to the right and it just throws his weight to the left a little bit as he cross roads up the face. So that's why he lands off the track. He said he tried to think about staying on the track but ultimately decided to jump off it. So he goes around the outside of the berm here, gets back on and gets on next to Tomac but just waves his hand and says, you know, go by me. He lost like five seconds in that entire thing but still was just trying to make sure like at all costs didn't want to get p another penalty or something along those lines. So let's Tomac go back by him, immediately goes back on the attack and just takes advantage of Tomac swinging wide in the sweeper here to sneak up the inside and just go out to the outside, block his line. Great racecraft here and nice job to recover because his heart rate is probably through the moon after that incident going off the track and he's thinking about, oh, I'm going to blow another race here. So immediately pounces back, takes the uh, race victory away from Tomac again and his first win of 2021 is also a points lead extending race victory. Nice camaraderie between those two after the race and Rock and gets to celebrate with his baby Griffin for the first time as a dad. So the 250 main event was as much about Jet Lawrence's crazy night as it was about Colt Nichols' race win. So Lawrence misses a shift off the start and just gets absolutely buried in the first corner, way back off the start. Then he starts trying to make some early passes in the race and gets hung up behind Thomas Doe on the wall jump here, clips his rear tire and just comes to a dead stop. So he has to back down, loses like five or six more positions as he finally gets going and basically just puts his head down, charges all the way through the field, finally gets up to Michael Moseman to pass him for third. And Moseman and he had some drama earlier in the heat race members so just nice job to use Hunter Sales as a pick there to make sure Moseman doesn't get him back right away and then the moment everybody's talking about in this 250 main event is Christian Craig and Jet Lawrence get together with two turns to go they go off the track Craig goes down Lawrence stalls the bike gets going and then watch Craig here so Lawrence gets back on second whoop in and Craig gets like on and just flies up the right side of the track a little bit interesting there they didn't get a penalty or something along those lines but it all starts with Craig kind of casing the last jump and landing on the gas so he runs wide and he's trying to turn right here but he's just a little bit late on the brakes and their arms are kind of tangled together as well so that's I think why he ran a little bit too deep I don't think any of this was intentional it just was circumstantial at this point point. and then uh, as you can see Lawrence trying to avoid the tire and then the tire hits his his leg there I'm gonna slow this down again look at this tire I mean so close to his hand this is why he stalls the bike because he has to let go of the clutch to not get hit by this spinning tire and then the tire comes down and just grazes his leg and just lands on his foot I'm sure that just felt fabulous on his leg right there but anyway Moseman and Shimoda sneak by on the left side Lawrence sees that as he's trying to get the bike going and and eventually obviously loses a podium position as he comes across the line in fourth place. I don't think you can fault Craig here in this situation. I mean, it is what it is. Lawrence is upset, and uh, Craig's just going to move on from that. But Nichols takes his second win of the season, gets sole possession of the red plate, gets his knack-knack on out front, and then Lawrence, after the race, completely dejected, coming from way down the field to almost get second in that race and then still doesn't end up on the podium. Knows he lost some valuable points there. And Colt Nichols is like, hey, man, I didn't know you got second. And Mosman's like, yeah, I did. Yeah. 